Uh, good morning to everybody. Uh, thank, uh, welcome to this uh, special web live webinar. Uh, I hope that you and your families are all fine in these uh, crazy moments. I saw that there are uh, some names uh, that sound um, Italian or French. So actually, I hope that everything is uh, is fine in your in your cities. Um, so this is the reason why, for the first time ever we have created this, um, this new format in order to inform you about the next academic year, because actually we are planning, uh, we're planning the, um, the, the, the new academic year regularly. So soon the situation will, um, should, we hope, uh, should be um, over. And so actually, why not already thinking about what's next? Um, so I'm Annalisa Tarquini. I'm the program director of the Master of Science in Luxury, in Luxury Management. I'm, I'm doing this presentation on behalf of Marjorie Berchi, who is the program director of the Master in Marketing of Luxury Goods and Services, who is the, at the moment is taking the same session with uh, students in international management and sports international marketing. Um, so these are the, the two programs we will speak about uh, today, so the Master in Luxury in Management with the three specializations, and then the Master in um, the Master of Science in, in Marketing. With me today, there is a uh, Najes Manser, who is the um, who is the person who is following you, who is, who is following uh, all um, candidates. Uh, Najes, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah. Hi, everybody. So I guess I know uh, some of yours, but the one who do not know me. I am uh, working on the admission team and you can contact me for all the questions regarding the admission, the process and everything. Uh, you have uh, during this uh, webinar, there is the Q&A, so you can ask me questions and I will answer them. And you have my contact information if you need me. Thank you, Najes. So, let's, let me introduce myself. So I'm working in, at IUM since 2008. Uh, I started uh, in the career department because actually my background is in HR. Before joining, uh, before joining IUM, uh, I worked in the um, in the luxury business, especially for for Fendi. And then uh, I managed. Before that, I managed um, several others um, positions and uh, in in different in different areas and then industries. Um, since 2010, I'm the director of, the, of this master, the Master in Luxury Management. And uh, recently I got my, uh, my doctoral program, my DBA, switched from the, the pure professional background to a more academic background. Um, then the, um, Marjorie Berchi, who is the program director of the Master of Science in, uh, in Marketing, International Management, and Sports Business Management. Uh, she has joined IUM uh, since 2014, and then she has a long experience in, uh, in different fields, in, uh, luxury uh, as one, but not only. Uh, so she worked in project management, the luxury and education um, in many different countries, especially in China, because she spent seven years over there. Uh, at the moment, um, so she, she's a professional who, as me, uh, is switching to the, uh, to the academic side. So she's finalizing her DBA and her, her PhD in eSport. So let's speak about the, uh, the two programs we, we offer in Luxury. Uh, as you can see, we have um, Master of Science in Luxury Management that is uh, uh, divided in three specializations. So luxury brand management, luxury fashion accessories, and luxury hospitality and event management. Um, these three specializations actually are part and parcel of the, um, the Master of Science in Luxury Management that is the diploma that everybody in the, independently on the specialization will get. So one diploma, three different specializations. Next to it, some years ago, we have launched the Master of Science in Marketing of Luxury Goods and Services. That actually is a disciplinary uh, program. It means that it's not taking into consideration any, 
um, generic managerial aspects, but is um, the focus is 100% on um, on marketing. So there are, there are no there's no cannibalization between the two programs because the master in uh, the master in luxury management can be adapted to any kind of industry uh, and any kind of position, while the master in marketing is purely disciplinary, uh, cross to any luxury sector definitely, but only focused on on the marketing disciplines. So uh, it means it means that if you are a pure uh, marketer, if you love marketing so hard, um, I would strongly suggest you to go to take the, the marketing uh, program. If you are uh, more interested in uh, generic managerial aspects in fashion, in um, sorry, in management, uh, in luxury management, you go, you apply for it for the for the other one. Um, another little difference is that the master in luxury management has two intakes: one in September one in January, uh, while the Master in Marketing has only one intake in September. For the ones who may be interested in the general intake, actually there are some specific rules. In order to, do, uh, to be uh, eligible for the general intake, you need to have um, or a BSBA, so 120 credits already earned during your bachelor, or a bachelor plus a master, master one, for example. But um, uh, one of the two at least has to be done in business. So let's speak about the, the luxury programs. So for both um, the luxury specialization. So uh, we're talking about the culture of excellence. Um, we have the, we have the uh, IUM is located in a very strategic um, position because actually we are between France and Italy and actually uh, luxury is a European uh, luxury is a European thing so actually luxury was invented in, in Italy and then took over from French people so the fact that we are based in Monaco it means that we are at the crossroad of um, what is a uh, the two most important countries related to associated with the, the, uh, the luxury luxury business so since 2006 we understood that and so uh, the program was designed and then it's still designed to to cover certain aspects first of all the theoretical framework we are a university so we are uh, an academic institution so theories are the bread and butter of our uh, of our activity daily activities uh, of course, what students are learning are the principles of the dynamics of luxury. And so this is something that is continuously evolving year after year. Um, we need to understand who are the luxury customers who are definitely different from uh, any other uh, traditional uh, customers in the mass market business. And then, of course, the luxury codes, because luxury has specific codes that are uh, uh, unique and then not shared with any, with any other sector. Um, starting from that, in 2006, actually, uh, we have developed the other specialization. What is very important to understand is that these masters, um, uh, actually IUM has the, the oldest master in luxury management in Europe, and that means in also in, in the rest of the world. So um, the fact that we have a long tradition and a long heritage in this discipline makes um, IUM a very, uh, very unique and one of the leaders of, of this um, educational uh, uh, set. So, um, because of the long experience we have in, in luxury, um, since a few years, we have decided to launch the other program, so the Master of Science in Luxury Marketing. Actually, with, um, we decided to, uh, to cover the other aspects, so as I mentioned, to design um, a pure disciplinary and then a fully, um, uh, fully focused on marketing disciplines and digital marketing disciplines, because this is one of the biggest trends. Uh, every company now has to, uh, has to be um, digital, has to set up um, the, what we call the omnichannel strategies. So we have decided um, three years ago to commute the expertise from luxury and marketing we had 
to create this, this, uh, additional, uh, this additional and unique uh, program. So let now, let, let's now enter in the, um, more in details in both uh, masters. So let's start with the luxury management. So one program with three specializations. So the master in luxury management, uh, so eight years ago, we have decided to launch the uh, luxury hospitality and event management specialization. Why? First of all, because uh, more and more students were, uh, were joining IUM with a, with a specific interest in, uh, in hospitality and event management, luxury hospitality and event management. And um, thanks to the strong legitimacy of the territory, because actually in Monaco every year, there are more than 700 events. Uh, most of them are strongly related and associated with luxury. Um, so we have, we have thought that maybe it could be interesting to develop uh, in, the, um, in the heart of this unique um, country that is Monaco, uh, a master in luxury hospitality and event management. Also knowing that the luxury services are absolutely part of the DNA of, of the principality. So students who are coming uh, to IOM to study luxury hospitality and event management actually have the opportunity not only to um, study the, once again, the luxury theories and um, followed by uh, academics with a strong, strong um, expertise in luxury, but also to experience, um, to experience something. Actually, my motto is, uh, studying luxury in class and then experiencing luxury outside class and this is this is very true especially for hospitality students because uh, all the visits we have with the with the um, uh, luxury hotels the participation to local events um, the partnership we have with certain companies enables our uh, enable our students in uh, um, in being part of this unique uh, of unique um, environment so monaco uh, the Principality of Monaco and IUM are working very closely. And, um, and, then, and thanks to these partnerships, so we are able to offer to our students um, a good experience, um, how can I say, many experiences that, can, that are unique actually. Nobody else can do it in other, in other, uh, in other schools. Then the luxury, uh, the second specialization, so the luxury fashion and accessories. Actually, um, we have launched this specialization 10 years ago um, because we, we, we noticed that, that fashion brands, fashion accessories, watches and jewelry brands are completely changing their strategies. They are, uh, they are making their, um, their uh, shops, their retail network, their um, Instagram pages um, definitely unique and, so, and, and different from before. So we have decided to create this specialization in order to enable uh, brands to reach the best candidates who are willing to be part of this um, innovation in their, in their strategies. So we commuted the expertise from the luxury brand management strategy, and then we created this um, specialization that is uh, focused on, uh, on these industries. Uh, knowing that, that the majority of my former students of my alumni are working in the fashion accessories, watches and jewelry uh, businesses around the world. What we're covering is the, um, actually the entire process from the creation of the product till the distribution of, of the product. This is extremely interesting for uh, students as actually I saw some, some names that sound very international uh, in, the, in the panelists. Uh, uh, sorry, in the audience list. Um, so actually, this is a, a very good uh, specialization for the ones who are willing to work in uh, these uh, industries, but actually who are not Europeans. What does it mean? Um, most of my students are willing to work uh, next to the product. So but actually, if you are Indian American, so if you're not a Chinese, also if you're not a Russian, if you're not European, it will be, a, a, and if you don't speak the local languages, and then if you don't speak, uh, and if you don't have the working visa, can be very difficult to join the headquarters of one of the, uh, one of your uh, fashion brand 
uh, one of the desired fashion brands. So through this specialization, what you can do, maybe you, you can start understanding what is the business of your, um, of your interest, and then you can start working in some branches um, all over the world, and then getting the experience, get, start working with, uh, I don't know, in, uh, in, in, your own, in your own country, so in Russia or in wherever it is in China, then you can easily develop an international career. So uh, this is something that happened to several of my past students. And so I'm always suggesting to, to follow your passion first and then build on your career, starting from an international um, exposure. Um, I think that this is, this is the best for my fashion lovers, let's say. About the brand management, this is the, the oldest specialization. What does it mean? That actually, when we started in 2006, we started with this, with only with one master, that was a master of science in, uh, uh, in luxury management. That's it. And then uh, year after year, we have um, in, uh, increased the offer. But, you know, the, we, need, we never uh, abandoned the, our roots. So this, uh, the luxury brand management is the one that exists since... Um, since the creation of our luxury specialization. Uh, we decided to keep it as, as generic as possible because actually we have students who are interested in many different in disciplines. So we cannot create a specialization for everything. But we have students interested in cars, in, um, in yachting, in, um, in uh, champagne, cosmetic, and so on, and real estate, and so on and so forth. So we decided to keep one generic uh, uh, specialization where the following the same uh, following the same logic as the as the previous one the fashion uh, the fashion specialization um, mainly focused on products and then uh, teaching students uh, the evolution or, or, or all strategies that are associated um, to the creation the development the promotion and the distribution of the of the products of your interest so then let's speak about the master in marketing so the other one the disciplinary uh, program this program is designed um, to offer people who are, who are strongly interested or are strongly passionate about strategic marketing uh, to come to AUM and study and then acquire the knowledge that can uh, help you in getting uh, the position of, of your interest such as uh, working in the digital um, digital departments so on digital strategies such as social media, media planning, brand reputation, or you can even work not only in brands, but also in, in, in marketing agencies. Uh, you can become a specialist in CRM and customer experience that nowadays is one of the most important aspects for uh, all luxury brands, all, or actually on the other side, actually, all luxury customers are very much interested in uh, in getting uh, a unique experience while interacting with the brands. And then also uh, another kind of opportunities is related to market research. So if you want to work in a consultancy, for example. Um, many so professionals and academics who are, te who are teaching in this, uh, in this master are specialists in uh, one of the, of the least disciplines. So um, it, is a, it is really a unique opportunity to, uh, and then it, it's really, how can I say, um, it's very practical. I mean, based on theories, of course, but you will learn something. So from the day one after the diploma, you, if you are interested in these industries, you can, uh, in these positions, you can definitely start your career. So um, let's speak about the curriculum structure. So both masters, have a more or less the, uh, the same structure. All of them are starting in uh, September. So uh, with the core business uh, for the master uh, at the top, you see the core business courses apply to luxury for the full semester. This is for the master of science in luxury management students, followed by the luxury specialization starting from January. So in January, we start the spring term followed by um, the, the practitioner cross link that actually is a, is a big box in which we are putting all uh, possible, uh, how can I say, uh, experiences, uh, projects 
uh, field trips, um, meeting with uh, guest lecturers and so on and so forth. So anything that is uh, connected to the, the practical aspect of, uh, of, of the luxury business, luxury strategies. Um, then uh, if you go down, so uh, the market, uh, the marketing uh, specialization, so the fall term uh, starts at, always in, in September, then it is followed by the spring courses. And then even, even for the marketing program, there are some uh, practitioner, uh, I, maybe you can follow like this, sorry, the practitioner cross link. So what does it mean that actually both programs start in September, as I mentioned, uh, for the luxury management program, this is a kind of fine tuning because we have students coming from uh, any kind of uh, educational background. I have students in law, design, languages, uh, marketing, business, uh, engineer, engineer, whatever it is. So this is very, uh, this is, uh, sorry, I lost my arrow. Um, so this is why we need this term to homogenize the skills. Um, while, for example, in the marketing part, in the marketing uh, the master, we start from the scratch with the marketing subjects because actually, the, let's say that the, um, the, the background is more homogeneous in this case, okay? Then, uh, I lost my arrow again. What is my arrow? I crap up. So, from January on, yes, from here, actually for the, mass, for the marketing students, it is a mere continuation of what you have done before. So we are going deeply, deeply, uh, deeper and deeper into, into your, into your um, specialization. Why, oh, sorry, why for the luxury management students, uh, from January on, we are starting the pure specialized courses. And then from January on, we are dividing the students by the in three uh, in three groups. So uh, brand management, fashion, and hospitality. Um, of course, we are a management school. We are a business school, and so soft skills are very needed and very important because companies are always asking to um, actually are always interested in your soft skills because we are training young managers so soft skills are very needed so there are some courses and some sections that are dedicated to this these aspects and then are um, uh, usually taught by uh, coach or uh, professionals in uh, um, in in, uh, in leadership in uh, so in this kind of uh, this kind of subject uh, at the end of your uh, uh, 10 months with us from here actually from june students have to start uh, their internship or their thesis. So you are, you are entering in the capstone project phase. Actually, you, you don't have to stay in Monaco anymore. So you can go back home, you can uh, travel around the world to find something, um, a new experience, a new internship, a new job opportunity. And then you are, uh, so, and then you have to finalize your, uh, uh, this project we, with an internship report or an academic thesis. From this year, we have also an entrepreneurial project because actually entrepreneurship is very important for, for IUM. So if you are willing to become an entrepreneur, at the end of, our, our, of, our, of 10 months with us, you can start working on your um, business plan. And of course, and then you will be followed and tutored by one of our professors. Um, so this is, uh, this is something that is dedicated only to luxury management students, just to let you understand that actually from uh, uh, the first semester is absolutely in common, you see? So there are no differences. All of my students actually are, actually certain of my students are uh, joining us with no clear um, uh, ideas. So I don't know what, uh, which specialization I have to, I have to take. So, so if, you, if you know already that you are a, a fashion lover or an event lover, you can um, immediately, since the moment of the application, you can, you can choose the, the specialization. If not, you will have time till December, till here, actually, the end of the, of the first term, you can confer 
your specialization or you can choose a change in your specialization. So no, don't worry. So there is time to work together actually from September to December to understand what is the best solution for you. From the second semester on, the, we are starting the specialized courses. There are still some co courses in common, such as uh, CRM, uh, consumer behavior, service marketing, uh, and, and some others. Uh, and then, of course, but there are some um, uh, specialized courses that divided by, by specialization. Um, the, the two next slides is, uh, can show you how the curriculum of the year, uh, um, how your curriculum is uh, organized. Actually, it is divided in modules. So in the first semester, we have uh, from September to December, we have three modules. Managerial skills, marketing of luxury goods and services uh, topics, subjects, then career development, and then from January on, we have the luxury consumer, the distribution chain, the brand strategy, and then communicating with your customer. Actually, all these all uh, specializations have the same modules, with of course with different uh, subjects in uh, in it. About the marketing specialization, as you can see, there are no managerial um, contents since the very beginning we're, um, we're splashing you into the marketing uh, the marketing field so data and uh, analytics in marketing the luxury market and then a digital marketing a strategic luxury brand management innovation and project management and then uh, the the career development uh, as i mentioned uh, is very important as well and uh, from the summer uh, from this from july on you are entering in the capstone project that is actually another another um, module some elective courses actually the curriculum of the program is defined by us but we are offering students the opportunity to choose and pick and choose some electives uh, this is for the um, uh, so fashion and buying fashion buying and merchandising entrepreneurship and diamonds are uh, dedicated to luxury management students uh, next to the yachting specialization while for the marketing students the only elective is the yachting part because actually in yachting um, in yachting uh, the digital uh, digital competencies are very much in demand so this is why we have opened this specialization also to to marketing students uh, all um, all courses, the, the four, um, um, four of them are taught by professionals. For example, the fashion banking merchandising course is taught by the worldwide merchandising director of Barbary. Uh, entrepreneurship is taught by um, actually two professors, but actually they are also entrepreneurs and then um, they're working in crowdfunding or so they, they are... Um, they're professionals as well in the entrepreneurship field. Diamonds, Diamonds is taught by um, a person who has a huge experience in the, in the diamond uh, industry. He has his own jewelry brand, uh, bespoke, only bespoke uh, jewelry brand, so big, big um, unique pieces. Uh, he's also a trader, uh, a diamond trader. And so a, he has a huge experience. Actually, I think he belongs to the third generation of, of, uh, uh, of a family that is a, with, a, with, a, with a tradition in this uh, area. Yachting is taught by uh, one professor who, is a, who has a huge experience in, uh, uh, in yachting as well. And then uh, uh, several professionals who are supporting us uh, because actually yachting is, uh, is very unique. We are the only university in the world who is offering a yachting specialization. If you are, especially if you are interested in yachting, IUM is the only place where you can come to study how to become a manager in the yachting business. So corporate relations. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning, um, we were working very closely with um, the, the entire principality. Uh, we need uh, we need that because um, our students are joining us because of the experiences we can offer. Uh, so this is just, this is a not um, uh, exhaustive list of activities that we are setting for a 
setting every year for our students. So for example, in terms of fairs, uh, our students have um, a unique access, for example, to the Monaco Yacht Show. Uh, all, of, all of our students are, can be part of the Monaco Yacht Show, um, actually volunteering, working, or conducting some studies. Um, the Monaco Yacht Show is offering every year tickets for all of my stu uh, our students, marketing and management students, uh, just knowing that every ticket costs 300 euros. So this, is a, this opportunity is very unique thanks to the partnership we have the Monaco Yacht Show. LuxPack is the same. This is dedicated to the marketing, uh, the, the marketing students. Actually, here you can see one of the pictures taken during the LuxPack. LuxPack is the worldwide um, trade show where all luxury brands are coming to Monaco to buy their packaging. Uh, there are four um, events like this in the world. New, uh, Monaco, uh, Los Angeles, New, uh, New York, and Shanghai. And actually, but Monaco is the, is the original one. Actually, then they were expanding their presence. So students, marketing students, are, uh, have the chance to be part of the conferences, conduct some studies, and then network, and then finding some, uh, some uh, um, maybe even job opportunities. Then, of course, we have the, the trips. That is, uh, I will speak about it a bit later on. International Business Days. So every year we are uh, welcoming at IUM more than uh, 60 or 60 uh, to 70 brands, uh, local or international brands, who are coming to IUM to recruit students. Uh, then we have it happened usually in March. We have guest lecturers all through the year. There are uh, guest lecturers who are joining our programs in order to share with our students their expertise and their passion uh, in, uh, <clears throat> in perfumes, in, uh, in the car industry, in, uh, in fashion, in, uh, in so many, in uh, art de la table. So actually there are, uh, the list is, in this case is very long. The March Challenge, the March Challenge is our business plan competition. Actually, we have launched seven years ago <clears throat> this international uh, competition for students and uh, alumni from all over the world. <clears throat> Actually, you can follow our The March Challenge um, LinkedIn page to see what is happening. This year we had 130 teams registered from, uh, uh, oh my God, I'm very bad in numbers, so, um, more than uh, 19 uh, countries. So it is a it's, it's unique, it's a unique opportunity where students from uh, and alumni from uh, uh, all over the world can compete about um, business plans on luxury products or services. The, the next step of the semi, so the semi-finalists uh, have already, have been already selected. So this year, the final will be in July. Of course, we had to postpone the, the competition that was already um, organized for May, but actually uh, in July, we will know who is the winner of this edition. And then we have a business consulting project where we speak a bit about uh, a bit about, about it later on. Um, so the Monaco Yacht Show, just to give you a, a beautiful picture, actually Monaco is completely transformed during the Monaco Yacht Show. Usually is the um, is the last week of September, and then um, the biggest yacht in the world are joining the principality, in, and then they are creating this unique setting. And uh, believe me, is a is a fabulous, is a fabulous opportunity. Actually, uh, at the end, every every year when uh, the Monaco Yacht Show ends, uh, we're very, we're all very sad because uh, uh, it is is the end of the of the summer first of all, but also because uh, we have um, our four active days where we can uh, you can meet whoever, actually everybody who is interested in yachting from all over the world comes to Monaco. So, and our students are uh, all taking part of this magic. Uh, I cannot find uh, another, another word. Um, some of our students actually are, uh, are able to secure their internship starting from the Monaco Yacht Show. Uh, some of them are very good in networking, may manage to do that. And uh, they are still working on the companies. I'm talking about the past editions, of course, are still working for the companies uh, uh, they started with um, during the Monaco Yacht Show. So, uh, 
So the corporate projects. Uh, every year we have companies coming to Monaco, coming to IUM, uh, sharing with our students real projects, real uh, problems. Here uh, you can see a list of uh, some of them because the list is uh, much, much longer. So as you can see, we have uh, fashion brands like uh, Ferragamo, Bottega Veneta, Barberi, uh, Hermenegildo Zegna, Fendi, but actually Fendi will work for the kids, uh, for the kids wear and then for the interior design for the home division. Um, then we have some yachting companies, so Fraser Yacht, Armiston, Rossi Navi, that is an Italian shipyard. If not, we have uh, hotels such as Hotel Metropole, um, then the car industry, so Porsche, and this year we are working with Porsche again. So we started last year and then they were so happy they decided to come back this year to offer the second, the second part of the project. Sometimes companies are, uh, are coming to Monaco, coming to IUM, they give the project and then they, they recruit uh, from the winning team, from the best team, uh, one of the, the best performers. So it is also an opportunity to, be, uh, to shine in front of uh, professionals who might be interested in their skills. Um, and before I was talking about the, um, the capstone project. So after 10 months with us, you have to start your internship or your thesis. Actually, next to these, uh, to these tasks, there are two more options. One, one is the double degree uh, with the poly design. Poly design is the seventh uh, best design school uh, in the world, based in Milan. Actually, they have the premium design management uh, master. And our students can, uh, at, the end of our, of, um, at the end of their studies at IOM, they can join from October the, uh, the, master in, uh, the master in premium design management in Milan. So with the three additional uh, months, you can get a double diploma, a double degree. So in luxury management or luxury marketing and premium design management. This is um, perfect for uh, fashion lovers, uh, fashion accessories or, design, or jewelry, especially, uh, or interior design as well. And, uh, and then also, it's also very uh, extremely good for students, uh, for non-European students who are willing to extend their stay in Europe. Because thanks to this opportunity, you will get um, a student visa for a, a one, an, an additional year. So this is, this is a, a good, a good um, yeah, a real good opportunity for, a, uh, for international students to, to stay in Europe at the end of the studies at IUM. If not, if you are passionate about Asia, thanks to the, the collaboration, the partnership with, um, with the LBI, that is a, a training company based in Seoul, our students can uh, go there, can go to uh, Seoul for six months, during which they will have, uh, they will expose to the local culture. As you can see, these are my, so this is Victoria, one of my students, uh, Marcello and Nirmit, for example, uh, past students who had the, the chance to be selected for this uh, Asian track. So they worked for six months next to luxury brands over there, thanks to the partnership with Bluebell. Bluebell is the biggest luxury distributor in, uh, in Korea uh, of luxury products. So um, it is, a, it is an, an, ex an exclusive opportunity, especially because Korea is still, a, um, I cannot say really an emerging market because actually it's a very consolidated market in luxury, but it's a different market. Let's put it in this way, it's a different market. So uh more international more how can you say uh for your future career you need to know more countries so if you start from asia and then you come back to europe or to your original countries so your cv will have a different weight so because you, you will have already you will be you will, you, um, you will be already exposed to different luxury consumers, uh, different markets, uh, different uh, strategies. So um, believe me, this is really taken into consideration by, by companies. So uh, before almost finished, so the study trip and 
the field trip. So the study trip for uh, marketing students, every year in January, students are going to Geneva. And then thanks to the partnership with Crea Genève, Crea Genève is a, is a school fully, fully specialized in uh, digital strategies. They have a long tradition in, in this, uh, in this um, sector. So uh, students are going there, marketing students are going there to spend an entire week uh, working on uh, certain projects. For example, last year they worked on the, on the Shiro brand. Um, this year they worked on the digital strategy for Rolls Royce. Uh, and then next two projects and then some classes, students are also attending the Digital Day, actually is, the, is a conference dedicated to the digital strategies. Uh, all the biggest strategists in, uh, in marketing, digital, in, uh, digital marketing are attending this conference. So it's a networking opportunity and then you can learn definitely something. And then there are also some visits. For example, last year they visited Zenit, uh, the Patek Philippe Museum and then some others. So it is a, it's one week where you can learn a lot. Then, uh, for the luxury management students, uh, we don't have a study trip, but a field trip. What does it mean? What's the difference? That actually, in my case, the students are, are attending one full week of um, uh, abroad uh, in, a, in a luxury city. And um, during the week, we are not doing any project or any, any, any course, but we're simply, simply, we are visiting. Uh, companies, meeting uh, managers, uh, having uh, attending events, uh, because, and actually it's a different way to learn. Um, so we, this year we were supposed to go uh, to Milan and Paris, but okay, so this is the, but of course by evidence we had to cancel uh, everything for this year. And um, so we had a meeting with Cadel Bosco, with uh, Emilio Pucci with Ferrari, we had the Ferrari day, and then many, many more things. So in Paris, we had a meeting with Louis Vuitton, with uh, Fauchon Hotel, Saint Laurent, and then uh, I don't remember all of them, uh, Hotel Lutetia for the hotel lovers, so and many more things. But then, yeah, so this year we had to cancel everything, next year it will be, uh, it will be back on track. Um, just to mention who are our students. So this year in September, we started with 74 students. With the January intake this year, we reached 82. No, no, more. Uh, so more than 80 students. So, but overall, 33 different nationalities, uh, big predominancy of, uh, of girls in my program since ever. And then um, who is the typical profile? Actually are luxury lovers. Um, you need to have a passion for something, for fashion, for champagne, for cars, for yachts, for whatever you want. But passion is the, is the most important uh, driver uh, to set up your, uh, your career in luxury. Um, the competency, the, the, um, uh, there is a big competition outside because there are uh, many, many people who are interested in joining the luxury business. So you need to be very unique. Your passion will make you unique. And then your commitment will make you unique. If you speak several languages, because actually the, usually on, on average, our students uh, speak three languages uh, uh, fully. And then they, they, travel, they, they travel, so they're, they're international students. Uh, this is the typical profile. Then we have, um, for example, Americans who speak just uh, one language and then they never uh, left their country. Uh, or we have, uh, I don't know, whatever, so people from, uh, uh, how can I say, countries where luxury is not even present, but quite interested in, uh, in, um, uh, in understanding this, this phenomena. For example, some countries from, uh, from Africa or some countries from, uh, uh, yeah, from Asia were still emerging in the luxury business. So, the typical profile is very undefined, let's say. So we don't have something that can be, that can apply to everybody. Uh, to conclude, I would like to present you some alumni, um, just to speak about some success stories. Uh, so these are all marketing students. Uh, so you can find them in LinkedIn if you want. 
but you know, several, as you can see, some of them decided to stay in Monaco. You see, um, some of them, it's enough. Some others decided to go back home or to work in other countries, such as Victoria is working in London, and Jacob was working in US, and uh, or Alexandra who decided to work in uh, in, uh, in Tel Aviv. So, and all of them has found uh, a real job in uh, in the, in. Um, as a market a marketing strategists, uh, so this is the proof that actually, as I as I was mentioning before, at the end of this market uh, of this master, you can really start your career in uh, in digital marketing. About the luxury students, uh, the, of course, the we have many more cases because we have a longer experience, but um, there are some guys. Actually, there are many girls, but there are some guys. Um, just let me explain about just give me one example about this this guy Jada uh, El Arabi who is a Lebanese student actually he joined the program with just with a, a passion for uh, men's fashion wear and then uh, at the beginning when um, he he wanted to work for Saint Laurent if Saint Laurent at the time he didn't know anything else so zero experience zero zero and internship before joining us uh so he managed to secure an internship uh immediately straight after i said a job straight after the program and then he worked for two years in, in louis vuitton in the shop uh in dubai after two years he was recruited by l'oreal actually switching from fashion to perfumes becoming switching from sales to uh, marketing after two years he was um hunted by Rado, so actually another shift from uh, uh, cosmetic to uh, watches, and then actually uh, consolidating his experience, his expertise in, uh, in uh, trade marketing in this case, because it was a product manager, but also business developer. And after two years, actually two is his lucky number, I have to say, uh, he decided to quit everything. And then he, now he's, uh, he has launched his own um, men's uh, shoe brand in Beirut because actually he um, he liked so much uh, working for the for the shoe department in Dubai at the beginning it's actually now he has launched his own brand uh, then uh, other other cases but if not so these are some of my girls um, this is another case of many different switches um, Angelica joined us in uh, because she wanted to work in uh, PR and events so straight after the program she managed to get an internship in Villa d'Este that is uh, the fabulous luxury uh, hotel in uh, on the Lake of Como then uh, she switched to fashion working in uh, with Madalena actually because Madalena was already working in Alexander Wang in Paris and then uh, they were they became friends and then uh, she called her I need the help and then so Angelica started working with her in Paris uh, in wholesaling, and then uh, she joined uh, the Pomellato, so the jewelry brand, and started working on trade marketing so, and then on pricing of um, luxury products, something completely different st till the moment. Finally, she got the position in event. She became the event specialist. After four years, uh, five years actually, she managed to get exactly what she wanted when she joined the program. After uh, less than two years, she said, this is not what I like. And so now she's working in, um, in New York, always for Pomellato uh, on trade marketing. So again, during her um, daily routine, she understood that event management is not what she likes. And so, because she's very good in numbers. And so this is why she got the promotion. She was attempted as a trade marketing manager for US for Pomellato. So you see, these are just two examples, but every student can build uh, here or her own career uh, working on passion and commitment. And then the rest, uh, the rest is, is easy. So uh, we're working uh, as IOM, we have students working in uh, the four corners of the planet in any kind of brand from the biggest uh, Hermes, L'Oreal, uh, Patek Philippe, uh, whatever it is. Uh, till the till the smallest and next to it we have uh, several of our students who became entrepreneurs as i mentioned before so some students are uh, are willing to become entrepreneurs and some of them 
really succeeded in, in, this, uh, in this job. So uh, you can connect to me, you, you can connect me on LinkedIn. Sorry, my name is Annalisa Tarquini, very easy. You can even, uh, uh, you can even join uh, Marjorie Bershi for the marketing students. Uh, Marjorie Bershi is the, program, is the other program director. If not, you can follow IUM on Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, so you will be always aware about what we are doing for our students. And I think it's time for your questions. Um, I'm sorry, I have one question on the, from yeah? Ina Karimova. So yeah. I'm going to say the question. She's asking if she can choose several elective courses, like two or three, for example. Two, yes, if you are a brand management student, you have to choose two out of four. No more than two, because you won't have time to do it anyhow. Uh, if you are a fashion or hospitality student, you, can, you have to choose one, and then you can choose a second one. So maximum two. If you are a marketing student, you can choose only yachting. Okay, and there is another one. She is Natasha. She's mm -hmm. asking if uh, she chose the luxury, hospitality, and event uh, specialization. Can mm -hmm. she follow the yachting courses elective? Yes, because yachting is open for uh, brand management and hospitality students, not for fashion by evidence. Okay, great. Right. Um, uh, is there anyone who has any question? You can ask I them. I don't know if we can open the... Um, I, I reply to them um, during your. Yeah. No, I don't know if we can open uh, the uh, the mic for the students. Ah, uh, maybe it's Laura. 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 I don't know. Maybe if there are some students who are uh, um, participants who are willing to to ask for uh, live questions. Laura. Yes, I'm here, but I can see anyone from uh, asking for uh, yes. an open question. The, okay. I can see on the chat other questions. Yeah, what? there is one who is asking if you can put the slide with the LinkedIn profile, please. Yes, we, of course. The link, this is the, the, the Marjorie LinkedIn profile. If not about me, is uh, Annalisa Tarquini. It's very simple. Um, is there someone else who has question? Is it clear for everybody? Actually, may I ask who uh, in uh, um, in which specialization you are interested in? So, how many are interested in marketing, for example? Can you type your uh, your your answer? Ah, can you? Ah, you see, now there is another question about the visa. Um, all right. Can I can I leave this uh, Q and A session open, Najes? Najes, I'm Hello? sorry. Uh, I will answer about the visa program, and yes. in the meantime, if you can explain the hospitality program, there is someone who asks. Would you please elaborate on the hospitality? Uh, so you are typing the visa. Okay. Uh, yeah. The visa is interesting for everybody, Najes. Do you want to spend? Yeah. Two this. So about the visa, uh, once admitted, you will be connected to the student services and they will help you with the visa. They will give you all the documents necessary to apply for the visa and they will also help you with the accommodation. So we have Facebook group, we have partnership with landlord and they will give you everything. They will help you with every process. Actually, um so how is the process? You apply for the, for the master of your interest. Najes is your uh, angel. She will, uh, she will help you in anything you need. Uh, and of course, she will tell you if there is a, any document missing or if there is a, an information that has to be refined. So don't worry, she's, 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 she's extremely good in that. Uh, and then uh, once your dossier is uh, completed, uh, she transferred your dossier to me or to Marjorie. Then uh, she's setting up an interview with us. So we're going through your dossier. We, we set up 
an interview, Skype or phone or a face-to-face, -face, hopefully soon, um, interview. And then uh, at the end of the, of the admission process, uh, every week, more or less, there is a one uh, admission jury that is composed by all program directors and then uh, um, the old uh, admission, uh, the entire admission team. And then we will discuss all um, admission um, dossier. And then uh, after that, if everything is okay, you immediately receive the answer. Uh, and so you receive the documents from which, thanks to which you can start apply for your visa if needed okay and then in it there are all the explanations so don't worry and then by chance as uh, Najas explained um, if you have anything so don't worry you, you can always contact uh, one of the team uh, uh, who will be uh, by your side uh, if you're not European of course if you are a European you you don't need any uh, any visa the only thing you have to find is an apartment and then uh, and then that's it, this is very easy. Um, sometimes we can put you in waiting list uh, if there are uh, some documents that are missing uh, and that's it, but so don't, don't worry. Um, I think it's uh, about the visa, this is it. About the, I'm, I'm replying to Clara. Clara, thank you for your question. Actually, yes, every, uh, at the end of every course, in every course we have, um, group assignment and individual assignment. So uh, several group assignments or only one, and then one final assignment that is an individual, uh, an individual uh, uh, exam. It can be uh, an oral presentation, can be a written uh, uh, in-class exam, can be uh, a research, can be the discussion of a business case, but actually this is how it works. Um, usually as soon as a course finishes, there is the final the final exam so we don't have uh, one uh, week uh, when we have all exam condensed uh, all together so it is a, a step by step so this is this is how we work um i hope is it is it okay for you clara did i reply to your uh, answer a uh, question sorry then uh, moving to um Liza, I'm sorry, there is only five minutes left, so I'm yeah. trying to answer. Yeah, I would like to elaborate a bit on the hospitality program. Uh, the average age of the students is 23. Can you speak in French? I'm from Paris. I would, I would love to speak to French, but actually nobody else will understand it. So, Najes, I let you interact with, uh, with uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cynthia, okay. Uh, who is the passing rate? Uh, as, uh, oh, the passing rate is, uh, is uh, for the for the admission. And no, is, uh, last year I spoke with I met one hundred and more one hundred and sixty one hundred and fifty candidates, and then in class this year we had eighty. So I th I think this is a this is the one out of two. Uh, then uh, about the hospitality, actually, just me quickly go back. I don't remember who asked for the question. Actually. Hospitality, voila. The hospitality program is, uh, uh, we have students who are uh, work hospitality and event management. There are several courses that are dedicated to um, hospitality. So the quality, the service marketing for the service industry. Um, then we have courses such as uh, hospitality operations. Um, then we have uh, tourist marketing and sales because actually hospitality is what is part of the biggest tourism, luxury tourism industry. Uh, then we have uh, 50 hours about event management and PR. Uh, that is, uh, of course, an event management one of the pillar for this program. And um, then we have sustainable tourism, for example, because sustainability is a big trend. And then we have what else? I'm trying to, by memory, uh, to recall the list, but this is more or less the most important ones. Um, every course is taught by a professional or an academic with a specific expertise in the in the subject. And then uh, most of the courses, but not only for hospitality, have some projects that are really associated with the with the subject, because it's a way to switch from theory to practice 
in, a, in an interesting way. So, or business cases or uh, real mini projects given by companies. Um, at the end, especially for the, talking about the hospital event management students, um, all of them are working in um, five-star hotels all over the world. Uh, event management, actually, most of them are staying in Monaco. I don't know why. Actually, they love staying in Monaco at the end. Um, actually, let's say that the, the tourism industry overall is uh, one, of the, uh, one of the most international career you can have. So if you're interested in foreign languages, um, foreign customers um, living abroad, this is definitely the career you have to go for. So I hope it helps. If you want to connect with me, uh, maybe you can uh, send an email to Najes. So maybe Najes, you can set up a Skype. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I gave you everyone my email uh, address. I'm sorry, like it, it's very the end. If you want uh, to send me your question by email, I will enjoy to reply all of them. But now it, it's the end and we, we have to, to finish this. Uh, thank you so much, Annalisa, for the presentation. Thank, and thank you so you much everyone. for all of you for uh, who decided to attend our our uh, session. I hope it was uh, interesting that you learned something. But please come back to us if you need anything else. I wish you a very good day. Bye. Bye. -bye.